super fast BRB. And I'm just gonna make sure Steam fucking detects the goddamn game. Properties. Capture specific window. Auto. Specific window. Get expand it. Fifty ninety. So this game is uh, done by Yahtzee Croshaw uh, from Zero Punctuation fame. Didn't save. There we go. Actually, I have to. Yeah, I will have to reset it. God damn it. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm just gonna do full screen. But. 1350, 790. I really wish it would stop, like, auto-adjusting my shit. <laughs> Playthroughs of this are very short. It's gonna play until we die or get to the end, as the scholar. <coughs> Premise of the game is, uh, in 60 hours, some horrible elder god from, like, works of H.P. Lovecraft or whatever, some cosmic horror is going to invade the world. And we have 60 hours to figure out which god is invading and what the banishment ritual is. And it's very hard. It's a very hard game. It's very fun. You, it's, it's designed for you to die. And New Game Plus is uh, substantially easier. October 3rd, 2013. A shadow is trying to enter our world, one of the ancients. The runes confirm it. I don't know which one. All I know is that they arrive at Stonehenge three days from now. One hope remains. The ritual of banishment. Four runes incanted at Stonehenge will close the gateway. Trouble is, I don't know what the ritual is. If I investigate the strange events, heralding the shadow, maybe I could piece it together. That's all I have. A maybe. And, you know, right, even right at the start of the game, Runcy, uh, we, we can kill ourselves. It's pretty great. Uh, haha! <laughs> and, and even, you know, even the intro text is randomized. You know, there's different unlockable characters and shit like that. I've beaten it a couple times, uh, but a lot of times I die. But again, like, as each time you play and beat the game, uh, or progress and die, you get, uh, more experience, which gives you more birth stars. Sanity would be nice. Yep. You know I can get it to 25. There we go. Healing would be wonderful. Health, rather. Kit capacity would be nice as well. A little more sanity. <coughs> some two, some eight, some nine, two, eighty five, eighty eight, nine. 96, 7, 96, 3. Alright. So these are our stat buffs. Pretty decent. You've received a text from the the Ministry of Occultism. Curse towns 
are the best place to find what you're looking for. You might make some immediate headway if you head to Saxon. All right. So our notebook is our biggest help. Biggest tool is basically where we'll have like all of our different uh, uh, bits and bobs. Our clues. And then we have a cable table and we can use this to figure out which god is invading, which god is the invader's ally, and which god is the invader's enemy. It's all procedurally generated. It's great. Saxing, huh? All right. You have received a text. Some intel that urgently needs to get to Old Row within seven hours. If you have the time to sort this out, you won't go unrewarded. Set destination. All right. On no number, we know when your children sleep, they will be eaten first, greased and spit roasted alive as they howl for their father. I'm given cause to slow by some kind of fight in the road. It appears to be between a small group of lootish men, young men, and another prone individual whom they are kicking and spitting on. One of the youths instructs me not to interfere. Stating they have caught one of them. I can't get a clear look at the victim. Though, met, uh, through the many legs attacking. Rancy, what are we going to do? Shrug, shrug and drive off or make them stop? How's it going, home skillet? What are we doing, Rancy? If you're still here. Or home skillet. Do we make them stop or do we shrug and drive off? Drive? Alright. Drive away. Oh no. This town is corrupted, but we have to get the old row. There's fighting in the streets of Burgate. They could use some hands-on assistance. Do it or don't, but if you don't, the town won't be safe for long. Enter town. The message is received by a flustered man, dressed not dissimilarly to myself. He's agitated enough. I am forced to awkwardly remind him of the agreed payment before he can run off, whereupon he throws a handful of notes at me and disappears into the shadows. He got 18 pounds. Town is calm and peaceful, oblivious to the shadow. My heart feels pained, heavy as I am confronted by what we stand to lose if I fail my mission. Alright. We go to Saxon. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you already told me that. You're an asshole. Sleep on these nuts. I am flagged down by an unmissably fat woman beside an upturned wrecked SUV. She screams incoherently until I crouch down and notice that a small child is strapped into the back seat. And judging by the smell, fuel's leaking. The mother is clearly too large to crawl through the vehicle to her son. But I am not. However, the space I need to crawl through is absolutely strewn with broken glass and razor-sharp exposed components. Rensi, what do we do? Crawl under the wreck? Try to clear the glass first. Rentington? I'm leaving this up to you. The fate of the world lies in your hands. Clean the glass? But just as I'm preparing to crawl in, something sparks violently. Pure instinct throws me aside as the petrol ignites and the car disappears into a fireball. The mother's horrified screaming will be ringing in my ears for some time, I think. Yeah, so the kid's dead. Enter town. 
1.30 a.m. Saxing. The townspeople here are friendly in the most disquieting way possible. There's a hollowness to their attitude that bellies a combination of entrancement and evangelism. When pressed, apparently, apparently unaffected people muttering disquieting stories of friends and loved ones returning from meetings with changed personalities. The smiling ones all wear gloves and baggy clothing buttoned to the neck as if their flesh must remain hidden. I am convinced that a dark power operates beneath the surface, infecting bodies and minds wherever its oily tendrils set. <coughs> One of the untainted townspeople has revealed to me that the possessed ones are constantly drifting off to meet at a rundown former community center off the beaten track, often dressed in their finest formal gear. My informant's helpfulness dries up quickly when I suggest he join me to the investigate to investigate. Your action was telling, despite being entirely expected. Oh boy. So yeah, now we're in a dungeon. And 48 hours remain. Uh, run is hold A. Fire gun is X. Melee attack is B. <coughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna have to investigate. It's a dungeon. We have no choice in the matter. Unless, because we have to investigate dungeons in order to get clues to figure out what the shadow is. Okay, we have three lockpicks, 15% chance. I'm not gonna risk it. Usually there's a set of keys that we can find. Let's go straight first. Oh, this one's low. Oh! <coughs> I found very old 9mm ammunition. Two bullets remaining. Some left their key ring here. Hopefully I can open all the doors now. Yep. See, all we had to do was progress a little bit and we find the keys. Found a dusty body armor that isn't completely beyond salvage. Ooh. Yeah, that's double lock, so that's probably where the big shit is. So let's see what's up here first. Mm. Alright, here. I have been a prisoner of the cult of Genix for some weeks. There's some other god they're trying to appease. They keep chanting it. Shim, shim, shim. Please send help. Genix is allied with the god identified. By the shim rune. Okay, so. And then rune. Shim. So cool, we got two clues from that. My recording device picked up some chanting of some kind. The mantra was intended to ward off evil, but it's hard to make out. But definitely the first part sounded like shim. It's nothing less of importance. The longer I stay, the more time I lose. Okay, so we have part of the ritual. Turn to the car. Sometimes uh, when you completed a dungeon, you have to you you wind up getting chased. So you gotta like get the fuck out ASAP. <clears throat> Ooh, we got a lot pick. So handy. I like saving ammo, but beating him. And like you can't run out, but if you le if you leave an area without killing all the enemies around, uh, you lose sanity. Turn to the car. The townsfolk are not immediately better off with the extermination of the creature behind their enslavement. There have been several murders and suicides already as memories of their actions return. The best thing I can do for them now is leave them to heal. Okay. 
gonna head to Burst Gate. Pat, thank you for the Garmin Bozio. Join the DD. Family member. Are you in hiding? Strange people keep coming and asking about you. I haven't told them anything. Do you need money for food? I sent you three. Forty-six hours left. Thank you for shouting out, Cat. <clears throat> as soon as I arrive, I see creatures of shadow infesting the streets, attacking wantonly. The people are making a valiant effort to fight them off, but their struggle could go either way. I prepare to lend my effort to the resistance. Ow. An armor-piecing bullet's good. Hey, cut it out. Thankfully, my small contribution has been enough to turn the tide. I am able to give advice on future defense. Local authorities are grateful. When I none too discreetly mention the posted reward, they seem happy to pay it promptly. Still quite buoyed by the clean air here, and the people are friendly enough. But it can only be a matter of time before they catch the shadow's attention. Lost another precious hour, but I found... Black market dealer, willing to take my money. No. That's gonna be useful. That's good. Turn to the car. I don't think my 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 stat boost shit took into to account because I should have 150 health, right? I don't know. Hey, Lee. How's it going, baby? Text from the Ministry of Occultism. After this, uh, Lee, we're doing uh, the next Clock Tower game. Got sightings of enemies in Burgate that need exterminating. If you have time to sort this out, you won't go unrewarded. Oh. My attention has been drawn to a small hardware general supply shop. The owners are selling off their stock quietly or quickly in order to move somewhere safe. So most of the good stuff was taken. I was drawn, however, to a serviceable stab-proof vest on sale for just ten pounds. Buy it. Shop owners ring up my item with some apparent relief, and I return to my car with the purchase continue. I was just there! As soon as I arrive, I see the creatures of shadow and pissing the streets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, shadows. Get out of here. Fucking cough on my dick. Uh, well, we got 11 pounds for it. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn on the car. Destination. There's fourth. Drive. Ending B for booty? Oh, near. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, Lee. Oh. <laughs> when my secretary came in this morning, I pictured her being violated by thousand thorny limbs. Can't take much more of this, uh, much more of this waiting tea. Next fourth. My hair stands on end, and I feel a scratching at the back of my mind. This can only mean one thing. Magic must have leaked through in great amounts from the outlying realms. This town must be a home to a rift. One of the tear tears in the fabric of our universe. Tears in the fabric of our universe. Through which bleeds the dark influence from of realms beyond. If I can find it, then I can cause the same magic it spews to uh, seal it closed. Isolating the rough location of the rift was the easy part. The, just the isolate, just isolate the strands of magical energy, the appearances of otherworldly creatures, and then triangulate the point they're moving away from. A simple set of divinations leads me to a fairly new built community college on the border where the commercial district meets the suburbs. Another case of students messing with powers they don't understand. I steal myself to enter. 
Find the dimensional rift and seal it with an incantation. Oh boy. Sanity's looking a little low there, but... Breathing mask. Pretty neat. And when the king recovered, he displayed his bed sheets, which had become stained with or orange with pus. From that day forth, orange would be the color most beloved to the god of disease. The color orange is associated with the concept of disease. Now one of the gods is orange and disease. The walls of the cave were absolutely covered in the rune commonly pronounced as Kiz. Each one dowed on in a chalky orange paint by what I sincerely hope were human fingers. <clears throat> okay, cool. We got the Kiz rune as well. Again, we don't necessarily know that this is the invading god yet. Could be the god's ally. It's the garbage. Dirty wire. I can twist into a lockpick. This is the one, Billy. This will show the other kids not to pick on us anymore. Just have to remember to chant it when they're very close or it won't work. You goodness. Learn to spell. There's nothing more left. Interestingly, the name Bayarla, as well as the associated symbol, is only ever inscribed in yellow pigment. To do so otherwise is considered ultimate blasphemy. Okay, so we know Bayarla. Yellow. That's a key ring. Ooh. <laughs> Chat. Ow. Yeah. Oh, we got three color point rounds. Corpse here, the poor wretch seems to have used their own blood to dub abstract symbols and strange phrases on the uh, surrounding floor. Okay, so we got a lot of info. Just don't necessarily know how to use it just yet. It's fine. Shut up. Shut your ugly old time ancient ass up. Rancy, that's rude. Surge of magic left me feeling strangely calm. My anxiety left me as their wrapped protected cloud and number the whole way around. Hey! Maybe Shim Agam. The god identified by the Urun doesn't appear to be physically able to survive in our universe. The threat it poses to us is very real, but thankfully indirect. Let's go. Oh. Okay. So one of the gods, whatever god is U, is not invading. That's really good to know. Good 
we got eight pounds. I'm gonna get to, get to the car and then I'll be RB. Yeah, I heard that. I'm sure Cat's happy. All oh, my controls got inverted. Thank you, you saucy sanity effect. Town is not immediately improved any more than a flood zone would be simply because the rain had stopped, but my contribution is made. Time to move on. Alright, beer be real quick. To be honest, though, it's really hoping that Kojima's next game was going to be another original game, as opposed to. a sequel. Okay. Waterton. 75 miles, 78 miles, 79 miles, yeah, Waterton. I wasn't a fan of it. I come heart stoppingly close to running a person sprawled out in the middle of the streets. They're clearly alive, judging by the way they shake and gibber violently. This is either a fresh possession by the shadow or someone in the throes of a comparatively ordinary illness. Rancy, what do we do? Do we try to help them? Or do we watch and wait? Up to you, Rent. I hold back and watch callously as the man shivering slows and stops. He isn't breathing. I wonder if I have made a mistake. Then, with a catastrophic noise, spidery limb bursts from the poor man's chest. I was right not to go near, and I owe it to his memory to destroy the creature he becomes. The monsters are dead, and there's nothing more for me here. I return to the car. I've wasted no time. Forty hours left. No, 39. Family member. Where are you? A man from the government came today. I don't know what he was saying, but I think he might have been threatening us. We need you here. Oh, no. The town. Ugh. First, I was ready to declare this town to be unblemished. It only took a scratching of the surface to see through it. Everywhere I investigate, I attract desperate looks from people who are trying to urgently convey something to me without the people around them suspecting. A number of anonymous notes have been passed to me by various means, some demanding I leave, some revealing details that sicken my soul. The town is paralyzed by an omnipresent darkness grown quietly in under everybody's feet like a fungus. I've received a text seeking to arrange a meeting, but when I called back, the woman who answered knew nothing about it. She said it was her husband's phone, and she was worried as he had not come home from work. She revealed that he worked at, as a forklift operator at a large storage facility not far up the motorway. Pledge to investigate immediately. I hate you, I hate you. Look, locate the missing person. Easy enough. Okay.
Personally, I'm torn. Because I kind of prefer offices because you get a lot of details. About the different gods who could be invading. Uh, but this places like this tend, tend to give you a lot of uh, resources like money and ammo and items and whatnot. Dusty jewelry. Some on the walls seem to grow more distant for a moment. There's a wave of recognition I found strangely reassuring. Gain sanity. Ow. Set of keys should make exploration easier. Nine milli. Small bottle of medicinal alcohol. Cool. to get the body yet. I'm sure that's the guy. I don't know. I'm starting to see shit, chat. Because we may trigger a chase sequence if I do that. Yeah, we got some more health. Okay. Found what remains of the person I was sent to find. There's nothing I can do to help them except for get out of here and break the bad news. Nothing left for me. I can escape the same way I came in. Okay, not a chase sequence. Oh, my controls are inverted. This game also does sanity effects, kind of like Eternal Darkness and whatnot. The news of the death did not seem, seems, come entirely unexpected to the poor soul waiting for my return. They seemed to appreciate my efforts. As I made my excuses, they pressed a wallet into my hands, explaining that it had been left behind by a previous visiting occult investigator. In the case of a four rune incantation, the second rune denotes the recipient of the spell in the banishment ritual. For example, it would be the rune of the creature behind being banished. Okay, so the ritual has been slightly updated. We are running out of time now. No, fuck. Separate the nation. Uh, 76 miles. That's farther. 72 miles. 38 hours remain. Short traffic jam on the motorway. Not a major one. I should be moving again within minutes, but I take the opportunity to get out for a moment and stretch my legs. Other families have had the same idea. A couple are arguing around the car in front. And their young daughter, clad in pajamas and a hastily thrown on coat, asks me if everything is going to be okay. <clears throat> so if you have the right item, you can basically kind of like super cheat these uh, situations and it makes it easier and everything. I crouch down and tell her that whatever happens, I know I have nothing to worry about because I have protection. I show her my lucky charm. She seems impressed. I ask if she wants to have it, but she says that I look like I need it a lot more than her. I'm not sure how to take that, but as the traffic eases and the family drive away, I find myself strangely uplifted by the encounter. Look at 
Atmosphere here is tense as news has spread of the darkness infecting neighboring towns. Besides that, I cannot sense the shadow's influence for now. I found a small walk-in clinic for homeless people that will treat me. A proper hospital would be unthinkable. Uh, refill my med kit. Town, that's fun. No, don't kill yourself. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find supplies. Damn it! Alright. There's no word on when a new one's gonna come out, man. Like, it's been. Christ. What is it? When, when did the Switch come out? 2017, I think. Yeah, 2017. So the Switch is five years old. Typically, game consoles, their lifespan is about five to eight years now. Switch is selling like fucking hotcakes. They always confirm that they're making a like. It it, it it's just that we're going to make a follow. -up. That's it. That's the only thing that they've confirmed. There has been no specifics, no release date, no target, no nothing, yada, 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 yada. But everybody is also up in arms about the whole fucking Switch Pro thing that's been fucking going on for God knows how long. Uh, who knows? Maybe Nintendo will announce an upgraded version of the Switch. Who the fuck knows? Uh, I probably wouldn't expect the next Switch like, the successor to the Switch for, like, maybe another two years. I mean, it, it, they kind of have to. I mean, unless unless your console's selling super poorly, everybody's going to keep making a console. It's it's not really news, but game websites act as though it's news. I, my guess is we won't see another Swiss, Switch, like the, the Switch 2 or whatever the fuck you want to call it, for two years. That's my guess. Two years makes sense. That would be seven years since 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 the last one. A lot of a lot of these consoles have like seven year life cycles now, especially due to the HD era. Things get progressively more expensive. Could be wrong. My my recommendation would be wait until whenever Summer Games Fest is, like whenever E3 was going to be, because Nintendo's gonna have their own direct. Just because E3 is not a thing doesn't mean people won't have big E3-esque announcements next month, right? Wait to that, see what Nintendo announces. If you really, really, really want to get a Switch, just buy a Switch. Like, might as well. Like, I own a Switch, I'm happy with my Switch. I don't use it all that often, but I'm happy with it. Like, I bought a PS3, a PS4 Pro in... Fuck. 20, 20, 20, uh, 2018, two years before the PS5 came out, and a lot of people were like, why, why are you buying the PS4 Pro when the PS5 could be coming out soon? And it's like, because I don't know when the PS5 is coming out, I want to play Devil May Cry 5 in 60 frames a second, and I don't know if it's going to be backwards compatible or not. Yeah, it turned out it was backwards compatible. Yeah, I could have waited two years and save, what, 400 bucks? But I had the spare scratch, I wanted to buy it, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just, if, if there's shit that you want to play, sure, get a Switch. If you think you can wait, if, if you don't necessarily think you need one, then, then don't get one. You know? It's fine. Please listen to me, none of this is real, there are no monsters. You had a breakdown, the doctors can help, we miss you. Uh, Oh boy. I'd say if you want it, just buy it. Ever since I crossed the town limits, I have felt a sensation of being watched. My black, unwelcoming eyes. I hear insectiles skittering, echoing through the crooked streets and dense alleyways that could conceal no end of horrors. I was walking past a brick house when what I believe was the chimney crashed to the floor a mere yards behind me. I glanced up in time to see something pop out of sight. My hair hasn't stopped standing on end since I arrived. 
after numerous failed attempts, I finally managed to catch one of the creatures and wound it. From there, it was just a matter of following a trail of foul-smelling Ikar. <coughs> to the lair of the beasts. <coughs> it is an ancient house by the river, surrounded by overgrown garden. I trudge uneasily through the long grass, expecting unseen fangs to clamp around my legs at any moment. Until I find myself at the front door of the house itself. Yeah, like, like, if you want one, buy it. You think you can wait? Yeah, sure. I mean, games can play in 60, it just depends on the dev. It's not, I mean, it, it's an underpowered console, 100%, but it, it's it's literally just depending on the dev and, the, and depending on the game. There are 60 frames per second games on the PS4. Um, like, 60, 60 is not a new concept, it's just devs are fucking stupid. Devs prioritize goddamn graphics over, over performance. This is infested with creatures from the shadow. Only one option to find exterminated, however many it remains. Survivors. Like, the HD era is, is I, I, I would say... Despite all the cool shit that came out, like, for 360 and PS3, HD era is, like, one of the, the worst things that happened in the industry. Pick. That's 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 my general stance. The price of game development shot up way too fucking high. People started implementing really shitty fucking business practices in order to mitigate the costs of development, etc., etc., etc. And it's just it's just kind of been kind of a shit show, an increased shit show ever since. Like we we've got a lot of great games. Don't get me wrong. Uh, the language of the ancients, the syllable shim, is usually given as a name. Uh, uh, insanity, Russian confusion. Shim is associated with the god of madness. Okay. Alright. We're getting somewhere. Like it, it's just it's just it's it's just up to you. Interestingly, in the name Gunix, as well as the associated symbol over uh, orange pigment to do otherwise is considered blasphemy. Okay, yes. So you're orange. Uh, Kiz is orange. That means you're ew, right? Tizius. He was not the invading god. Not invader. Genix is allied with the god and then Shim. And, and like I said, it's up to you, man. Like, for me, I, I, I like... I personally want all consoles, so... Like, if I didn't have a Switch, I'd buy one now. But... <laughs> I have a launch day Switch. I don't feel the need to buy it. Buy, 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 buy anything, unless there's, like, a substantial thing. And, uh... Hearing, hey. I also barely use the thing in, like, portable mode. First considered a uh, cloth symbol in orange. Both hates the god associated with the orange.
pretty sure you're the invader's ally. I'm pretty sure you're the invader. That would make you off. Make you fire off. Make you yellow. Like, if Nintendo announces a Switch Pro, yeah, I'll buy it, depending on what the specs are and the price. Sure, why not? Uh, I was even tempted to get an Xbox One X uh, when that thing was announced, but I, I, I wound up not doing it for whatever reason. I'm gonna fucking die. Nothing I can do in this place. Get some health. All points. You've had many uses. Uh, uh. Okay, cool. Yeah, like Mario Party's uh Mario Mario I think I've gotten more use on my Switch with Mario Party. Although oh, that's gonna change because I there's a lot of Switch stuff that I wanna go through. Yeah, it's just it's just whatever your preferences are and, and and if how if you can be patient or or whatever. If you have a spare scratch and you really wanna play some Switch games, then sure go for it. Uh, no magic wand has been waved over to the town to remove the taint of the shadow, but with the infestation infestation removed, it's certainly quieter. I take uh, make my way back to the car, hoping that what rem what remnants of this town's population survives will get back on their feet. All right. Let's more Stonehenge sixty-seven, Newport seventy-seven, Finns. Finsbury was 60, yes. I, I didn't care. I'm like, I, I, don't, I don't fucking care. Uh, that's the, the, the period we live in, home skillet. Console revisions happen all the time. And like, whatever. Unless it's, like, as substantial as, like, the new 3DS, including a second analog stick, which is what it should have fucking shipped with in the first place. Uh, or if if I can't play games on on my current console, then yeah, sure. But otherwise, I don't care. Uh, sightings of minions in Finsbury that need exterminating. If you have time to sort it out, where was I headed towards? Fuck. Whatever. It's somewhat safe. Okay. Heal up. Like, again, it's it's all what, whatever your preferences are. It's like when they announced the PS4 Pro, uh, I think they announced that in, like, what, 20, 2016? 2017? I, I wasn't pissed. I just waited. My cave was the fact, like, what, what made me cave in was the fact that the game I was working on was shipping with the PS4 Pro Limited Edition. And I've never had a limited edition console for a game that I've worked on. And uh, Devil May Cry 5, I wanted the best possible performance. I'm sure it runs fine on PS4. But I was like, I, I fuck it, PS4 Pro, why not? I'll, I'll drop the 400, 500 and buy it, even though it's a stupid purchase. As soon as I arrive, I see creatures of shadow infesting the streets, attacking wantonly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, we got nausea. Small contribution, blah 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 blah. Eleven pounds. And it's calm and peaceful, blah blah blah. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, 
Hello, dear. You didn't think I'd forget your birthday, did you? Sent you six pounds. Try to invest it sensibly. Okay. All right. Jim, oh. God's room? Question mark. His. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go into Stonehenge. We're gonna go and clear the game, uh, or at least try to. Because the good thing is Stonehenge has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, stuff. In silhouette, a figure by the side of the road seemed to take on several monstrous qualities until it was illuminated by my headlights. I could see that it was an old man, hunched over, clad in trailing rags, blacking me down. He leans in close to the car, and I get a complete view of his craggy face, his mad staring eye, and the crust gathering in his mouth and nostrils. Gap tooth grin and bony hand gesture. He seems to want me to open my window. Run, see it. What do you want me to do? Wind the window down or drive away? I'm assuming you're going to say drive away. Rentsworth. Rentington. Like, if they announce, like, another Xbox upgrade over the Series X, it's like, whatever. They announce a PS5 Pro, whatever. I'll buy it or I won't. It doesn't matter. Well, Rhett hasn't responded, and I don't want to wait 20 years, so fuck it. Wind the window down. Between the thick accent and throat ruined by abuse and age, the man's dialect is virtually incomprehensible. I find my eye drawn to the leather pouch he is pushing under my nose, containing some syringes and small bottles of clear fluid. I believe he's saying he wishes to sell me some narcotics. Numbing my mind from the nightmare around us carries a certain temptation. We're gonna buy drugs. He takes my money with glee and rather carelessly tosses me a needle, a single dose of the medicine. By the time I have recovered from them from my lap, he has already disappeared in the night. Yeah, we got drugs, Renzi. In the center of Stonehenge, the ground has become been torn up, and an eerily lit entrance leads to some kind of tunnel network. I don't know if it's unthinkably ancient or recently built, but either way, the shadow is not even trying to conceal it. This close to the deadline, it must feel assured of victory. This will either be the place where it finally will be vanquished, or a fitting tomb for myself. I must be sure that I have all the runes the order they must be cast for the ritual, or at the very least, enough infinite information to confidently guess. All we're really missing is one rune from the banishment ritual. That's it. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident I know what the god is. I'm pretty fucking sure that it's going to be this asshole. Right? Kids, or Enix, or whatever. Uh... In that case, it's Shim, God's Room, which is Kiz, and then something, and then Kiz. But we'll see. We'll hopefully get more info. Stonehenge is the biggest dungeon in the game. So we'll see. Oh, welcome back, Renzi. I just bought drugs because you weren't here. So garbage, sturdy. Okay, we got another lockpick. That's all good, baby. Don't worry about it. But I still bought drugs. I'm not saying buying drugs in this game is a bad thing. I'm just saying that you weren't here, so I bought drugs. Nine milli ammo. Interesting. Okay. Just 
going to say possible invader for both. This could be him. The only one we know is who is not the invading god. But hopefully we'll get more. In the language of the ancients, the name Ginnix is often identified with a symbol resembling a stick man with their head in one arm missing. Yeah, I figured that out. Orange is disease. Kizrun is orange. Ginnix is orange. Shimrun. But anyways, Rensi, we're in Stonehenge. It's the end of the game. Because I think I have enough clues to do it. The victim of the shadow. The arms and hands are ruined. Fingers are either broken or missing, as if they were falling madly at something. Because <clears throat> also, there's a boatload of endings to this game, Rensi, depending on if you get it right and how fast you do it and everything like that. Strangely enough, each of the tribes I have studied independently link the names Byarla and Ginnix, the implication being that the two have a close personal bond, perhaps siblings, consorts, or both. Byarla appears to be an ally of Ginnix. Yes. That's what I figured. Rosary. Body lays at my feet, use their own blood to drive access. Yeah, okay. I hope it's to find a key ring. Help, I've been imprisoned by the cult of Kizuth. They've locked me in a filthy obulet, and I can hear cursing some enemy god chanting Kizuth. Kizoth is an enemy of the god identified by the Kizru. Yes, we already knew that. Have sanity loss. are self-inflicted. Yeah, 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 that's what I wanted, good. Ancient kids is usually given by the name of various, uh, I already know you, we already know you, we already know you, we already know all of you. Give me, give me some clues that I need, that I, that I don't have the answer to. I'm not sure of. Like, give me the final actual thing. Well, hear me, cause, uh, touch the heart of the one I love. Burn away his senses with your fiery gaze and send yeah, blah blah blah. Kazoth is the god of lust. Lust. Rensi, are you the god of lust? There's a corpse here, their arms uh blah 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 palms.
don't know how to kill that thing, so fuck it. Oh, I think that's where I chant the, the ritual. Okay. That's some health. Well, we might be slightly... Well, we're going to have to make an educated guess, and we're probably going to die because of it. Unless we get that final rune. Or I could leave. Yes, we knew that. This is where the ancient will appear. Oh. Okay, so that's the room. Not the other one that I thought it was. So I don't know what the other one is then. <clears throat> I'm going to be right back real quick, and I'm going to decide what I need to do. Okay. We're super low on health. So I need to heal regardless. I think we lose sanity for... Okay, no. Oh, no, we did lose sanity. We lost a lot of sanity for dipping early. I don't have the final thing. That destination. Well worth. Subscribe. To town. That's plus. Town, visit hospital, go med kit, turn the car. Well, I'm coming. Okay, lost sanity. Renzi, what are we doing? I'm given cause for a slow by some kind of fight in the road. Yep, they're beating some people. So, do we shrug a truck and drive off, or do we make them stop, Renzi? Make them stop? All right. Having gotten between them and their sport, the thugs turn their attention to me. They work out their frustrations for a few minutes before growing forward with my refusal to cry out, going about their business. The victim, thankfully, appears to be fully human. He turns down my offer for a ride, but is grateful enough to hand me all of his wallet. 26 pounds before limping off. So we lost some health. But we got 26 bucks. Oh, good. Some church. Please give me the last thing that I need. Uh, the shadow's influence, insidious influence is thick on the ground here. The air tastes sharp and critic sits heavily in my lungs. Suspicious looks bore into me from the shadows in the open doors and windows. It's too late to save this place, but there's signs, blah, blah, blah. Kind of defiance exists. 
Uh, runic symbols associated with ideas like protection and warding have been mostly daubed in the walls. In the way that seems to mark a path, somebody saw this coming with who? Following the trail of protective wards, I've located what I believe to be the home of the artist. The entrance was absolutely plastered in seals, daubed in a mixture of bodily fluids. The place was deserted. Everything useful had been taken. I pray that the owner had merely found a safer home. Scraps of a discarded journal indicate the source of the wards. An old book in arcane language, which had been hurriedly stored in a hiding place in an abandoned building next door. Perhaps I could recover it before someone or something else does so first. Oh, we're going to investigate. We got it. It's a dungeon, man. 23 hours until the shadow remains. Poor devil uses last moments to paint a message. Open only the box bearing the color of Ayarla. Mm. So we can only open the yellow box. It's locked. You is usually given as a name, but it has various uh, meanings. Yes, we know! Give me a fucking clue that I don't have. Please. Generally. this in mind. I'm gonna get a key ring. Hey, there we go. Survivalist. Looks like we're not gonna get a key ring. Looks like I'm gonna actually have to use my lockpicks. Hope for the best. No picks left, oh well. Enix does not appear to be able to, oh, it's okay. That is a big one, but it is not what I especially want. But it's okay. Take the sanity loss, I don't care. Town is lost in the shadow, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna go to Dinchester. For all. We're all five hours away. We'll drive there. No, we're not five hours away. It's five hours since the event. Stop at a junction. Harassed uh, looking young man in ruffled clothing runs into the window, pleads for a ride to the neighbor. I don't have time. I'm sorry. Drive on. Uh, fighting in the streets, yes. Got seven bucks. Pounds. In the car. Except for this nation. A couple miles. Drive.
Castle Hill, I think, is too far away. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I, it's too far. Sort things out before heading to Storm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, good. It's infected. Too late for the people in town. They don't seem to be any left. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Further. Hmm. Perfect. It's an office. Usually get more info here. Come on, give me some filing cabinets. Uh, Queen Association, Color Polynesian, and Love. They're white. Well, we have all those details I just need. Don't have any picks. Again, Shim Bitty chanted instead of sounds. Yay, we healed. No, anxiety. Yeah, we got a key ring. Okay, 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 okay. After this, I'm just gonna fucking wing it. Hey, calm down. Come on. You got a lock pick. Victim. No, give me some data. Well, we could get it when we clear this out. Maybe. Maybe. Hey! Cheeky. You. I think we got the final piece of the ritual. Alright, good. Can at least make a valiant attempt at sealing away the asshole. I don't care. Eat my ass. We're gonna get a mixed ending if if we're able to seal it away. All right, on the Stonehenge, baby. Over penalty scarpa. E good. 
15 hours left. 13. Looks like destination. Well worth. Alright, Ramsey. This is it. This is for all the al almonds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know where my kids sleep. I don't care. I know where they sleep, too. Fuck Dinchester. What have they done for me lately? Yeah, I don't care if it's fallen. We're we're at stone, baby. Still recovering. Okay. <clears throat> Oh god, it's reset, so I gotta refind it. Because we left. Uh, you know, we could have just actually hung out here and just tried to farm for clues. Now that I think about it. Oh well, whatever, it's fine. Oh good, key ring. Perfect. No, you're gross and fat. Fuck you, sanity effects. Oh boy! Alright, here we go, Runtington. Shim God's Rune, ew, cuz. Shim shim. Shimmy shim shim. Alright, hopefully we're right. We're right. Get out of here, you dusty old god! Shim shim, little ghost. We did it! We beat the game! I don't know what ending I'm getting. Probably a mediocre. Not the best one, because I lost all my fucking sanity. Yep, we're in, a, we're in an insane asylum. I don't remember what happened after that. They say they found me wandering the countryside, raving and screaming. They say they brought me to this place, but I have only their word for it. They say there was no shadow, no monsters, but I see it in their haunted looks. The lie they have forced themselves to believe. Sometimes people seeking answers for what caused the devastation. But I see the mark of the shadow on them. The shadow is still here. It's part of us now. A great cling lump of darkness clings to my body, spilling itself upon the walls and floor. They took the light out of my room, because they thought that would get rid of it. They were wrong. Now the shadow is everywhere. It crawls across my body, digging hooks into my mouth, nostrils, and eyelids. It hurts. 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 We did it, Rent. But at what cost?
Not the best ending, but you know, whatever. Ending B. Successfully banished the Ancient with just seven hours remaining, losing their mind in the process. Discovered all four runes of the banishment ritual, and only allowed a single town to fall to the shadow after beginning their mission. Tended to favor close combat, exterminating 107 minions, enemy minions with melee attacks. Learned three smell spells and made use of them four times. In the end, subject was a physically exhausted, mentally shattered, Narcotics riddled, burdened, suicidal demon hunter. We did it. All right. So now it's going to be Clock Tower PS1. Um, I'll be right back. <laughs>